Hello and welcome to this TDD tutorial, and welcome to the fourth section of this course. In this section, we will find out what can you all do with views in your MVC application. To be more exact, in this section, we are going to take a look at how we can test views, what are layouts, what are partial views, and what are view components. So let's start from the first video of this section, testing views. In this video, we are going to take a look at what is Selenium and how to use Selenium to automate your view test. As I mentioned in previous sections, views should not handle any kind of data or any kind of processing inside of them. That is why we are just using Selenium to verify that if you click somewhere, it goes to the proper page and that can be easily done. So what is Selenium? Selenium is a tool that automates browser behavior. It creates robust browser-based regression automation suits and tests. It is easy to scale and distribute scripts across many environments using this tool. So let's go to our Visual Studio and take a look what you all need to do to install Selenium. I already done that in my application, but in order to do this, you need to go and select your project here in the Packager Manager console and use these instructions. Install package, Selenium support. That is the first package you need to install. Then you need to install Web Driver package. And finally, you need to install specific Web Driver for the browser you want to use. In my case, I'm using Chrome Web Driver, so I installed that package. And here is the test that I actually written. I'm using XUnit like in all previous examples, and you can see that I'm using Selenium Chrome and Selenium Support UI. So how does this work? Basically, I've created an instance of a driver here, Chrome Driver, and I created a new object in the constructor of the test. Then I've written this fact, this test that I'll be running here. I will go more into that in a second. But I just want to say that it is important to dispose your driver if you've done it like this. If you haven't created an instance in the test itself, but you created it in the class, you need to dispose it at the end of the test. So here in the constructor, in my setup, of every test, I'm creating a new instance of a driver, and in this pose, I'm disposing it. So if you take a look at this test, what I have done is basically I navigate to this URL here. So I navigate to this address, and then I'm finding element that is having the name create new. That is basically our link in our application. So I want to click on that link, create new, and verify that nothing bad will happen. Then I am creating a JavaScript that will be executed. And that is actually this part of the line, which will actually scroll and position my cursor place of this, where this link is defined. And finally, I will wait for this element to become clickable and expect that I can click it. So there it is, one very simple test. And let's see what will happen when I run it. So basically, my application will be built from the beginning. We will give it a second, and it will automatically open Chrome. Here it is. I will just make it full screen. And now we are just waiting for application to load. Here it is. It's been loaded. And now notice how it will click on a create new link. Here it is. Right. So I haven't done anything. Basically, I'll just run this test and it went to create a new link, clicked it, and verify it can indeed click this link. And this is basically a principle that we are using to test our views and using Selenium. So this is why Selenium is good. You can create many of these tests and verify that you've been routed to web page or to a new route, and you can create a lot of tests and basically run your regression test very, very easily. 